I'm Laura Laura and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this makeup look. It is more aimed at New Year's Eve but you can obviously apply this to anywhere. You can mix and match the smoky eye if you wanted to and the colours and anything. It's just a bit of guidance on what products and tools that I used. So I'm just going to get on with it. So first I'm just going to prime my face with the Body Shop Insta Blur. I'm just going to apply it on my hands and then smooth all over my face. I concentrate on the areas where I need it most, like blemishes and around my nose, because that's where I feel like it rubs off. So as this is a party night look, I really want this to last all night and look really good in photos. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be using a mix of my Max GJ Fix with my L'Oreal True Match foundation. My MAC is too way too light for me, I mean, it's ridiculously light. I even got colour matched and oh, it's so annoying when they do it wrong, especially for a £25 foundation. And my L'Oreal is kind of the right colour but I just love the coverage of this as it really does cover up your spots and everything. So I'm going to mix slightly more of this to this just to lighten up a bit. So I'm doing a pump, pump and a bit on the back of my hand of my MAC and then about half a pump of my L'Oreal True Match and I'm just going to be mixing this with my Real Techniques foundation brush I think, pointed foundation brush. I'm going to mix it together on the back of my hand. This is just like a paintbrush. And then I'm just going to dab it all over my face. I'm only doing this roughly, I'm not going to obviously leave it like this. I'm just going to take my Real Techniques complexion sponge on the flat end. This is a brand new one. Look how bright it is. Where's my old one? Look, this is my old one. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. And I'm just going to smooth this all over with the flat end. looks really pale <laughs> on the camera it doesn't look like that in person and if you look it does actually match my neck so I think it's just my face is a lot darker than my neck so when I try and match the two it just makes my face look pale but oh well for under eye concealer I'm gonna take my Rimmel wake me up I'm gonna take my Rimmel wake me up concealer and just apply this under my eye <laughs> I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge again on the pointed end and just blend it in. Now I'm just going to take my collection, I'm going to take my collection lasting perfection concealer and apply that onto my spots. As you can probably see, I have quite a few. <laughs> and I'm not applying it directly onto the spot, I'm just like doing it around it and then I'll just blend it in. Now for my eyes, I'm just going to apply my mascara which is the Max Factor Velvet Volume. I would curl my eyelashes but my eyelash colours are currently behind the camera and I don't want to move to get out of focus so it's probably best to curl your eyelashes and then apply your mascara. I love this because it really fans out your lashes. While that dries I'm just going to do my eyebrows. I'm just going to brush them through. You will see me do this a million times before. I'm just going to use my Soap and Glory Brow Archery to fill them in. Now I'm just going to set my brows for my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. apply small mascara now that it's dried. As this is a New Year's Eve look, I'm going to go for a really silvery sparkly eye. So I'm going to be using the Max Factor Excess Shimmer in Crystal, which is like this. <laughs> I went and bought this specifically for this makeup look. It's just so ridiculously sparkly. And I also wanted to I wanted to make it extra sparkly by putting some loose pigment on it and I was going to use a Barry M one but they sold out because obviously people have been having a very similar <laughs> thought to me so I went and so instead I bought the Bourjois Spooky Stories palette 
um, which has got four eyeshadows in it and I mainly bought it for the colour in the middle which is just super super sparkly. Looking forward to using that. And I think I'm going to use some of the grey shade in the crease as well just to give it a bit of depth. Now I really should have cleaned my brushes before doing this but I haven't so oh well. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques base shadow brush and first with the Max Factor I'm just going to brush my brush, brush my brush, brush my dip, I don't know. Basically get some product on the brush and then apply it straight onto my lid. Okay, first impressions of this, it, it is very wet. I mean, compared to the Maybelline color tattoos, it's very, very wet. While that's still slightly damp, I'm gonna take my MAC 217 and just blend it out a little bit. It's really not coming up on camera as glitter as it is in person. Well, this eye sets, I'm going to do the same to the other eye. I don't know if I like this eyeshadow. It's very, very wet. And it kind of slides around my eyelid a bit. I think once it's set, it should be okay. And maybe I just need to, need to leave it to dry for a minute. I think rather than applying this with the brush, it might be better to use your finger because then you control the amount that's on there. Gosh. This is not what I was expecting from this eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna do another layer of this to try and, I don't know, to I'm gonna use my finger. Passing my finger in there. I feel like, I feel like I need to leave this out for a bit, like with the lid off to let it dry up. It's just so liquidy and wet. Ooh. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna take my bourgeois palette thing in, what shade is this? Gray and Night. Um, taking the central shade Dabbing my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease, crease <laughs> Deluxe Crease Brush and dabbing it in the central colour. Probably need to swirl it around a bit. And I'm just patting this onto my eyelid. Now I'm just taking the grey colour in the Bourjois palette, not too much on my brush, on my MAC 217, blending it into the crease. To complete my nose, I'm just taking my L'Oreal Superliner Ultra Precision. I, why can't I say precision? <laughs> um, I'm going to do a really thin line just across my eye. You can always flick it out if you want to, but I know whenever I try and do winged liner on camera, it just doesn't go right. <laughs> Are really heavy. I'm still gonna go quite bright on my lip. It's gonna be the Bourjois Rouge de Velvet in Hot Pepper, the red one. And the reason why I picked this is because it sets matte and obviously New Year's Eve, for anyone that's gonna be drinking, you don't want your lipstick to smear all over your face and eating and maybe kiss at midnight. Uh, these are really good for setting matte and they last all night as well, so you probably won't be needing to reapply it all the time. And you can use a lip liner, but I find these are really easy to apply straight from there without any lip liner. <laughs> shows up 10 times brighter or camera than it is in person. I'm just going to put on some highlighter and I'm going to be using the Balm's Mary Luminizer. I use this even like natural makeup days, I just love it. I'm putting it on my cheekbones. So this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a lovely New Year's Eve if you're going to be recreating this for New Year's Eve. If not, and you're staying in, watching some nice movies with your friends, then I hope you have a lovely night too. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, everything you always do. Remember to subscribe for more weekly videos every Tuesday at 6pm at youtube.com slash Laura Westlake. I hope everyone is having a lovely week and enjoying having some time off. If you're having time off, if you're working, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye. New Year's Eve is going to be 2016. New Year's Eve is going to be 2016.